Hey everyone, good morning. I am Heather the Blonde. I'm Bob the Veteran. Today we are super excited. We're also super cold. It's like 40 degrees outside. Hence why we're in jacket sweaters, beanie. But today we have a special one. We finally received a Russian MRE. So we are going to be trying some Russian breakfasty kind of foods. We're guessing because I don't speak Russian. He doesn't speak Russian. So we're not really sure what they are. Some are helpful. They kind of give you little pictures. Let's see if we can get the lighting on that one. This looks like coffee beans. We're going to guess that's coffee. Again, I won't know. We're going to try. He has a tea he's going to be trying. I'm not a tea drinker. He prefers tea. So he's going to show you what the packet looks like. And again, we're guessing it kind of looks like. Is that it? Yep. It kind of looks like it has a little tea cup on it, some tea leaves. I think it's black tea. So he's going to try tea. We have our steaming waters already ready. I don't know if you can see how hot it is. I can see the steam. I don't know if you guys can. But they're on fire. We boiled water. My cup, of course. The coffee first. It's the best way to start the day. He has, since it is Sunday football, he has his <laughs> Bronco Cup. So he's rocking the Broncos today. There's gonna be, we're gonna guess how to make these because we have no idea. We don't speak Russian, we don't read it. We're guessing completely. I did download an app that the store had, Play Store, and it translates. It did do really well on a couple of them that we kind of guessed. So this is going to be all we're going to find out how it goes. And you guys are going to see an experiment with us. And hopefully we love Russian food because I have been so excited. Like I started watching the Russian hacker and I fell in love. I wanted to try the jam. We have apple butter. So I'm super, super excited. So we're going to try to make our drinks first while our water is boiling. Bobby's holding his tea, so I we're going to go. I think that this was supposed to be used by March 14th of 2018. I think mean, that's the process date. And supposedly they have shelf life for like two sure? years. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. These are all edible. We're good to eat this all of these. This could be toxic. He's right? not going to die. No, all these are really edible. I think those are all the mark dates because they all have a shelf life. And then some of them, when you Google or when you translate, it even tells you like one of these cheese. They said it was cheese. So I'm guessing that C upside down letter IP is probably cheese because that's what it recognized and it mentioned like cottage cheese, cheese, processed cheese. So we're going to go cream cheese is our guess. We're going to see how lucky and how close we're guessing. And then he found that we got towelettes in the packet. So we're going to use a towelette after. Hopefully none of this is too, too messy. The apple butter might be, but we're going to press this though. So there is the towelettes. Again, they're in a language that we can't read. We don't know what it says, but they kind of feel like towelettes. They're thin and squishy. They kind of feel cold. So we're going to say those are two towelettes. Again, it's going to be a full guess. We don't know. I'm going to go pour my coffee. Mine is powdery, so I'm guessing I'm just going to pour it into the water and stir. We're going to find out. Him, he's going to open his tea bag. Tea bag? It's, well, we're going to see. I don't know if it's a tea bag. I don't know if it's going to be powdery, too, and it just disintegrates. It's, it's going to be a full guess, you guys. Because, again, we can't read it, and that makes it oh so exciting. Because I'm a really picky eater, and I have been doing really well for these videos. He's normally not a picky eater. He has been. So uh, are you ready? We are going to also <laughs> pour. Oh, he has a tea bag. OMG, it's a Russian tea bag, y'all. Like, how cool is that? We are so excited. Like, I've been to London before in Amsterdam. I've never it, been to Russia. Put it in there. Yeah, let's dip yours in. So he can start making his tea. Obviously, his will take a little longer. Mine, though, is a powder. So, like, mine, well, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it past, but mine's like a powder. We're going to dump it in. It definitely makes the water look like mud brown. I don't know. It's kind of muddy. It's mucky looking. So it totally is disintegrating into a coffee color. I tried to use a white cup so you guys can possibly see some of the color of it, but it totally became a dark coffee. Like, oops, I'm going to spill again. I'm trying to be really good at that. And we totally made a joke. The pack that we got came with like, six sugars. 
And everyone that knows me knows I love sugar in my coffee. Like half the cup has to be sugar. Look how big this sugar pack is. Again, we're guessing, but it looks like sugar. It sounds like sugar. We're gonna go with sugar. Smells like tea. It's massive. Look like look how big. So I am so excited. I'll probably use all of this, I'm sure. He has a sugar as well. He has a different style though. Like show him yours is the long pack that looks like mine. This one? Yeah. So his sugar is in like a different brand, but they both have like the same two words on them. So that's why we're gonna guess they're both sugar. Again, we're guessing. It's making it partly the fun of it. Hopefully this warms us up. C-A-X-A-P. Caxip. Whatever that is, is on both of ours, because I have the same C-A-X-A-P. And then we both have whatever this weird word is that I just cut off, which isn't fully language. Here, I'm going to give you my sugar. So he's not going to try his sugar yet, but we're going to see. So I'm going to pour Idolia sugar. It looks more like rocks. We'll just, we're going for it. Let's just do the whole thing. We're going for the whole thing. It also came with, I'm going to say it's creamer because it does look like a little milk is on it. It starts with the C. So we're going to guess creamer. I again prefer milk in my coffee. So I did pour a little teeny shot glass of milk. So in case I need it, but I will try it without. We will do it live and try. Uh, oh, that's a weird packet. Okay. It's very plastic. He says his smells like tea, so he is going for it. Let's see what he thinks on Russian tea. Different proper piles of trash. It's black tea, we believe. We don't know. That, that's tea. Tastes like tea. Tastes like Chinese tea, English tea, American tea. Tastes like tea. Heck yeah. So we have a score on the tea. Crazy little knife. Like, he has little teeth. Show him the little teeth on the knife. Because the teeth are kind of wicked. Like, look at how cool it's all jaggy. Like, doo -doo -doo. so it probably cuts really well. We're going to use that for this, what we're thinking is cream cheese. We're going to open this right now and we're going to try some food now. And then we have our drinks to wash them down. We have never tried Russian food. We also can't read it. Oh, we're guessing what we're going to be eating. Crackers. Yes, he, we're going to open. We have two kinds of crackers we're going to try for you guys. And we're going to try them with both of what we are thinking is breakfast. Again, we have no idea. We're guessing. So you guys are going to see with us how well we guess. And then if we have to, we can always translate it with the app. So we got like three different kinds of crackers. We don't know what the difference is. Like the one we're going to try right here has a brown, like brown lettering. We also have one that has green lettering. So I'm guessing maybe veggie. This one I'm thinking is a wheat. And I think it's a wheat because you can clearly see a bunch of little like speckies. It kind of almost looks like a wheat thin. So we're going to be trying some of these wheat thinny looking crackers. He smells it first. That's very smart. If you guys haven't seen, we did the baby food challenge. We learned you better smell your food before you eat it. Could be bad. It could be really bad. So smell first. But mine smells. Are they the same? Mine smells like a cracker. No, he has a different type of a cracker. His, though, does look really similar. I'll show you guys what the difference looks like in the camera view. Like, they both look spotty, but his is really textured. Like, you can see, like, ribs. But, like, mine is very smooth. But, yeah, so they're really close. His is also, like, more squared. But we're going to be trying both different types of crackers, so I'll give him a couple of what these we, weird weedies. We are going to see about these breakfast meals that we have to try. He's going to open up what we're guessing is the apple butter. Show him the packet and why we think it's the apple butter. So it clearly has like an apple right here. We did also use the translator app to see what it said. And it recognized this second word and said apple. So we're kind of thinking whatever the second word is means apple. We're guessing. We're also using part technology to figure it out to cheat. March 14th, 2018. See, I think they're the dates they were all processed because yeah. they all were made about the same time. This one also says 12 3 of 18. So they're probably all made in 2018. They're good to 2020 because okay. they said two year lifespan. Here we go. He's going to open the apple butter. I'm guessing it's going to be like a jam, maybe. I'm super excited. You don't know. I barely slept last night. 
Oh, it's going to be a surprise what it looks like. I can't really see inside. Dun, dun, dun. What is different, too, is their packaging. Oh, it's kind of like a color. It looks like a jam. But a lot of their packaging is more papery than the plastic like we have in the U.S. or the U.S. MREs. That's good. He says it's good. Good, Let's good, see good. if we can rip it open and show a little more of it. Let's see. Because it is made of like a papery. It's kind of crazy. It's like paper plastic. Oh, it does look like what well, we, we have here, like an apple butter. Looks like apple like, butter. I'll try to squish some downwards so you guys can see. But it looks, I mean, it is very consistency. Like it's not like a Careful. leaky. It's not, I'm trusting it's not leaky. But it does look really, really thick. I think that's going to be really good on crackers. And if we do have cream cheese, which is what we're going to be guessing is in here. So we're going to see in a sec. But we'll try some of the apple butter first. Bobby already took a little dab, and he actually said it was good. So splooge some on a cracker. Splooge. Let's see. It is very, very thick. Like, it has a straight viscosity. Like, look at that thickness. See? I like this. It's, it, I won't spill it. I don't want to mess. But, yeah. There you go. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like apples. I don't know what it smells like. Which cracker did you try it on? Okay, so he is trying it on, you think? My it's cracker. Ones you so yeah, he is trying it on my cracker, so I will also put it on the cracker I have too. So we'll try and kind of the same together. But yeah, so we are guessing this is apple butter. It clearly has an apple on the bag, and the translate said, whatever word Arapaho or it looks kind of like it says Arapaho in English it supposedly is butter or apple so we're going to find out that's apple butter is it just like ours here that's apple butter Crap. we had a really cool fair in town and like a woman made her own like I don't know jellies and stuff and she made a delicious apple butter and I actually fell in love with it crackers a little different but the, mm. the apple butter is apple butter mm-hmm Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's good. I don't know about the crackers though. The crackers a little. That might be like a lunchtime cracker. More for like something else to pair with it. Mmm. Mmm. The apple butter though is delicious. I'm not gonna lie. It's like really good. Mmm. What number? Mm hmm. I'm actually really excited to taste the jam now, too. Alright, so we're gonna try one more of these and then we're gonna see if it's cream cheese. I don't know. That's not bad. It comes in like a cute little tin. You can probably heat it. I don't know. We're gonna see what it is first. None of you would heat it. What did you think that this was? Sugar. Sugar. Mm hmm. Sugar. And they give you so much. Look how big that is. Like, I think it's huge. My kind of people. I love sugar. Okay, it totally looks like cream cheese. I think it is cream cheese. Oh. Look at this texture. It is totally looks like cream cheese. Look at that. Oh, boy. That might be really good with some apple butter. I'm going to put this on Bobby's cracker this time. And we're going to try to see if his crackers is maybe a little more breakfast-like. Really? Try to clean off our knife. I kind of only brought one out. Let's see. So it does look like cream cheese. It comes out like I put it on a black shirt. I don't really want it all that much. Oh, too bad. We got to get a big heap. You got to oh. know the taste. Smearing it's a little different. It kind of has like... The yeah. texture of something I don't even know, but that's gonna be Bob's big bite, so he gets a real taste. None of these weak all. little bites he takes sometimes. I don't eat all that. You eat it all. I'm really excited, dude. This is Russian cream cheese, y'all. Russian. We are super, super excited. We are no, in the United not. States. No, we're not. <laughs> We have been waiting to try Russian food. I'm like, OMG, you don't know. So this is, look at all that. Oh, yeah. And the next bite, I'm going to put some apple butter with it. Ooh. All right, so bottoms up. Put it in. Um. Mmm. That's really good. 
It's almost more like that cheese in a can. No, it tastes like that. Mm. Mm. If you like cream cheese, I guess that's really good, but I'm not a big. Mmm. The Russian Agro say, that's amazing. Like, it really is good. I like cream cheese. I like cheese. Mm hmm. I think, like, to describe the closest flavor, because obviously anyone who likes cream cheese would know a certain flavor of cream cheese. Yeah. This really tastes closer to the cheese you get in a can that you would, like, put on a cracker. It tastes like that, but looks like cream cheese. So it's almost like a mind game, like for us that have had the cheese in a can. I don't recommend, but it almost has that exact taste. Even though it's white, it's not the orange. And it's cream cheese, but this is actually really good. I'm going to try some with the apple butter. See if they mix well together. I will say, though, his cracker was way better with the cream cheese. Like, his cracker tasted really good. Whatever this one was, was a really good cracker. Nice. Right, so I am loading it up with some apple, butter, and cream cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like the apple butter. It's super good. Yeah. I like the cream cheese. <laughs> Look at that. Russian cream cheese. No the same. It was so weird too, it didn't say it had to be like refrigerated, even though it is really cold. It's really cold in my house. But yeah, that's like a big amount too. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. It tastes super good. The apple butter is really yummy. I do like his crackers though better. His like, I don't know if his has a logo on them. Mm. Oh yeah. So, like, whatever cracker he had, I'm jelly dropping crumbs. This cracker was really good. It's not like the other one. The other one is way more grainy. This one isn't as grainy. It totally just, like, it's a perfect cracker. I'm going to get some more cream cheese because I actually do like the cream cheese. The it kind of has the weirdest texture, though. Look at how it, like, can you see the separator, like, as I scoop it? It kind of, like folds so that's when I try to smear it 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 like to look at this like it makes the weirdest shapes when you try to smear it like look at this thing just like coming off it's so different I don't know it's probably because it's in a can but it's really good <laughs> I need mm. a, I need a towelette mm -hmm. I'm sticky why 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 is there I don't do but they're different. You take that one. I don't know. I want his white and one shows green. Part of the packaging, I'm not sure. We're good. I can't read it. <laughs> ah. mm. Oh, heck yeah. What's the difference? I don't know. It doesn't really smell like anything. Does yours have a smell? Mm -mm. Nope. They look the same though. Mmm. They are nice and wet though. Perfectly yeah. moist. And it works like a charm. And it's a nice So the fur creature has left the video. So where we were is we were trying the Russian cream cheese, and I thought it was delicious. Bobby's not a fan of cream cheese. Not a fan. But he did love the apple butter, which is... And the tea. I'd have more of that. The apple butter was delicious. Like, this was really good. I'll try one more bite for the video, and then that... It, it's kind of like coming out of all sides since I kind of... You're going to do this? I don't need more sugar. Is I that what this it. is? Yep. That was for you if you needed sugar. No. Oh, the splooge right there. Yeah, we're apparently making a mess with this apple butter. So I'll do another apple butter. Because the apple butter was so, 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 so good. I'm a jelly person, jam person. 
Mmm. That's good. And this knife worked really well, too. Little hacker. Mmm. That's good. Maybe I Toby hair on it, though. Mmm. -hmm. It's really yummy. Two of the things we did want to show you guys that we got, which is really cool, is one of the napkins that comes in the Russian MRE. And it's actually like monogrammed. Like how wicked. A monogram napkin. I'm not going to use it though because it's really cool. We don't want to ruin that. But it is totally monogrammed with the logo. That was wicked. And then we want to show you guys. We're going to save it to last. Yep. We ended up getting. These are water resistant, wind resistant. And it comes with a striker. And they are matches. You use them for. I am so excited. You don't know. I was jumping for joy. Jumping. These are the little stoves. This little metal thing, we're going to fold it up into like, it looks like a stove, I guess. I don't know. You use these tablets, and then this is what makes like the fire. So we will be striking the match with a striker, lighting this thing, and we'll be cooking. The next one we're doing, we're going to be trying like some kind of a vegetable caviar. And so we're going to heat that up on the little stove for you guys. So you will totally see it cooking on the fire. We're going to be tasting it. He's not a squash veggie person, but he will try it for I'll the video. Try. He's going to try it. But our coffee was so good. Everyone, this is how you start the morning. But first coffee. He liked the steam. He said he'll drink more. We do have more, so he'll get to do another one for one of these videos. Mm -hmm. I would have more of that. It is not bad. It's actually pretty good. And the coffee tastes like some more coffee kind of. It's a little stronger. And I like I probably need more milk. And... To recap, look at the biggest sugar they give ever. Like, this thing is huge. Like, look at it compared to, like, my coffee cup. My kind of people. <laughs> I love sugar. That was perfect. So, we hope you guys enjoyed the first video of us trying Russian. Russian. We're so excited. Go, Russia. We love your food. Like, wicked, we love your food. So your far, apple so butter. Good. Apple butter was delicious. I prefer whatever cracker he had. We don't know what it is. It was a little better than this, like weedy looking one i don't know that's a lot they give you a lot of that but we did make the joke that they give you eight crackers per eight packet cracker. you'd be full so if you really used all eight crackers you could totally use this whole thing him and i use most the apple butter even though i guess there still is like a good chunk left in here but we used a good amount of it and it was so good like it has like a really cool color we'll see if we can like bring some of that up so you guys can see, like, look at how cool that color is. It almost looks like marmalade. I don't want to spill it again. We've already made a little bit of a mess with them. So, yeah, I'm going to take this big old scoop. But, yeah, it is so good. Your guys' apple butter is bomb. We can't wait to try more. We've been super excited to try Russian food. So, thumbs up for sure. It's yummy. So far. As the hacker would say, it's amazing. It really is really good. This cheese was so cool. I have never seen something like this before. Wicked. I'm going to try to see if I can resave it. I have a feeling you might be able to kind of like maybe cover it, refold over. I don't know. We'll try. But it came with a really cool label. We're guessing that first little word means cheese. Because what we translated, Bo said cheese off of that word. But yeah, they have really cool packaging. It's all pretty. They're all colorful. More well, like colorful, just for coffee and stuff. A little colorful. But yeah, tune in for more watching us try Russian food. We're also going to be getting some MREs from other countries as well. We're super excited to try some like tea from Britain, something yummy. I'm going to be doing probably the spicy noodle challenge soon. So we're going to have some noodles. I'm going to go from Japan, I'm not sure. I might die. He's going to be my medic. But tune in for more videos watching us try random things along with MREs from other countries, more U.S. MREs, random foods because I'm a really picky eater. So we're kind of just trying foods that I may not have eaten. He hasn't eaten every kind of food. Like and subscribe. If you recommend we try something, comment below. If you've tried some of this food, comment below and let us know what you thought. Very messy. So these towelettes are so perfect. And we totally bought this MRE from foreignmre.com. It was super fast shipping. They're awesome. The owners are sweet and kind. 
We're going to buy more. But have a good day. We hope you enjoy. The sun's coming out, so we're super excited. We're cold, so we're hoping it'll warm up. But take care. See you again soon. Bye.